and he laid a perfect example for Pittsburgh to follow. <laughs> Think of that, Pittsburgh. Jesus, who was God Almighty, laid a perfect example for everybody in the world to follow. And everybody don't want to follow him. Joe, Jesus' ways is too strict, uncompromising. Oh, yes. He don't negotiate with nobody. And uh, because the Bible won't change for nobody, what did the devil do? He tried to go in Bible-changing business. That's right. That's right. That's right. Huh? Just think of it. The devil know he won't get God to change. That's right. So the devil come along and say, well, I know what I'll do. I'll make my own Bible. That's right. And, I, and there was, there's Bibles out now. One group, they, I believe I mentioned it about several years ago. The homosexual community wrote their own Bible. Oh, yes, wrote their own Bible. Call it, not, they don't call it King James. They call it Queen James. Lord. Queen James Virgin. There's some now that says, well, God is a woman. That's how bad they're getting. They say God is a woman, and uh, only the angels in heaven now are homosexual angels. You know, they're not afraid to blaspheme. You know, I wonder, folks watch us over social media by the billions or millions and know what I stand for, know how hard we preach, then they come to see me in person and get mad at me in person. That's right. Does that make sense? If I got a reputation of being an arsonist and burning down your house, why in the world are you going to come to see me throw gasoline on you and just throw a match on you? Burn, baby, you're going to burn. <laughs> now understand this. I want the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah. And I want to show the people how God's people had fell into the delusion of loving what God's hate, what God Almighty hate. I believe Jeremiah chapter 5 mm -hmm. and the 30th, 30th verse, if verse. I'm correct. Mm -hmm. Everybody follow me. Jeremiah chapter 5 and at verse 30. All right, let's have it. A wonderful and horrible thing. Now get this, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh have a whole lot of churches, like every place else I go. That's right. I was on social media this morning looking for churches for sale in this old wicked city. I found several of them. I mean, we have to just check into them and see which ones are feasible. Hmm. Thank God to uh, gather God's people together. I, and somebody logged in last night from Washington, D.C. and said, don't forget us. Don't worry, I won't. <laughs> I won't forget you, Washington. We still got you on the grill also. That's right. I mean, just turn the flame down so the season of the war can get in you. All right, I want you to follow me in this Bible here real good. Jeremiah chapter 5 and at verse 30. Notice this. A wonderful and a horrible thing. A wonderful and horrible thing. Is committed in the land. Have happened in the land. The prophets the prophesy prophets falsely. Prophesy falsely. Wrongfully. And the priests. And the priests, the preachers. Rule, bear rule. They are ruling. By their means. By their own means. And my people. Look at God talk. And my people. My people. Love to love have it, it so. They love it. And what will ye do when the end thereof? All right, all right. Amen. I get my greatest fight, Amen. not from so-called sinners. No. My greatest fight I get across social media, emails around the world mm -hmm. are so-called religious people. That's right. Them that claim they love God, love church, want to be saved, Christians. <laughs> That's right. Now, my, some of the worst hypocriting, so-called Jesus-loving folk that I've ever seen. Amen. How in the world can you love Jesus so much and fight the word of God? That's right. 
Someone said only the red letters is what Jesus said. What a fool. What a fool. Suppose your Bible don't have no red letters. Then what? <laughs> From Genesis 1.1. 1, 1 All scripture. To Revelation 22 last verse. That's right. Them are the inspired words of the Lord Jesus Christ that he spoke and moved on the prophets and the apostles to write. And so the Apostle Paul tell us, oh, give chapter and verse, son. In 2 Timothy chapter 3. You got to give three. chapter and verse. Don't forget now because yes. this is coming up on the screen, brother. That's right. They want everybody to follow me so they can read it just before they die and go to hell. 2 Timothy chapter 3. I want to make sure they read it so they can't say I'm making up nothing. That's right. I want them to read it and follow me. That's it. Get this good. 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 16. All right. All scripture. How much? All scripture. Glory to God. Amen. Everything in God's everlasting word. All scripture. All scripture. Is given by is inspiration given of God. By inspiration of God. That means this. Mm -hmm. God inspired them to write and God inspired them to talk. That's right. Nobody wrote something because they've had a bad day and said, well, I think I'll write something in the Bible so folks can remember me in history. Nobody. Nobody. God inspired them. That's right. This is the only book that's divinely inspired. That's right. The only book. And men try to change it. They, they, they really hate the word of God. That's why so many is trying to change it. And so many is working overtime trying to find fault in it. That's right. Out of all religious books in the world, the scriptures is the only one that man tries to change Amen. and try to discredit it. They don't try to discredit the Quran. No, sir. No. no, sir. Not at all. No. They don't try to discredit the Quran at all. But the Bible, mm. glory to God, they say, well, a bunch of old Europeans wrote it. Mm. Listen, I've been to Europe. Now, what I see in Europe, the Bible is against. That's right. So I know no, Europe, no European at all. No. I don't care how much Yale he drank. <laughs> huh? I don't care how many bagpipes he blew right. or how much smoke he puffed. Amen. If not a European man on earth will write the Bible, that's totally against him. No way. So I said, prove it, Pastor Jennings. Well, that's very easy to do. Very easy. I can use just one scripture. Mm -hmm. Give me the seventh, seventh chapter, chapter of First Corinthians. Mm -hmm. And begin at verse one. First now you tell me, viewers, that's always saying man wrote the Bible, man wrote the Bible, man wrote the Bible. You tell me what man will write what he's about to read. That's right. Listen. First Corinthians chapter seven and at uh, verse one. Follow me. Now concerning the things Glory whereof he wrote God. unto me, Concerning the things where have you wrote, unto, wrote me. unto me? It is good. It is good for a man not to touch a woman. Wait a minute. <laughs> Amen. I told you I proved my argument. That's right. What did the Bible say? Now concerning the things where have you wrote unto you see, me? You God can say that because He ain't going around touching no women. That's right. God can say that. No prophet. No apostle said that on their own. No not way. one. No. Paul said he served divers' lusts and pleasures. That's right. Living in malice and envy and hateful and hating one another. It is good. What? It is good. Oh, that's God talking through the apostle. It is good. It is good. For a man. For a man. Not to not touch a woman. Not. Not to touch a woman. Not. Amen. It is good. Don't touch her. That's something. Well, you might as well get a benediction right now. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so this justify my argument right. with the whole religious world. That's right. No man going to put that in there. No, no man. No. No man. No. Not even a homosexual will put that in there. No, no they won't. Because he going to touch somebody. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And <laughs> go and say, God, he's going to touch somebody. That's right. Hey Amen. I wouldn't put that in there. No, I wouldn't put that in there. I either, wouldn't Pastor. put that in there. No, no. Hey Amen. When I saw my wife and I was 14 and she was 14, jumping a rope, that scripture didn't come to my mind. No. <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. Thank God. And when I look at her, it never comes to my mind. <laughs> it just comes to my mind when I'm preaching to the world. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> 
You get what I'm, what I'm talking. That's right. So no man under the sun, not one. Not one. No man going to put together something that hold you so tight. No way. And cause you this type of pain. No. The Bible said all scriptures. Back in 2 Timothy 3 and verse 16. Follow me and hear me. All scripture is given by inspiration. Now I want my viewers and you that are here in Pittsburgh to understand this. Amen. It was very important for God Almighty to inspire what he wanted everybody to know. That's right. And he moved on men to write the book. Mm -hmm. The men didn't have to know what they were writing. No. God just moved on them and inspired them what to put in the book that will better the whole world. That's right. Now man, because he's so rebellious, mm -hmm. So hard head, and you know you are. Amen. That's why you're on social media now fighting us. Right. Cussing. Cussing. Lying. Swearing. That's right. Mad. Because we won't change like they want us to. That's right. I'll change when God changes. Amen. And if God don't change, and I'm telling you now, He will not. He won't. God knows I'm not changing. That's right. Be gone set to our seal that God is true. God is true. The word of God being divinely inspired, mm -hmm. he moved on the prophets and the apostles to tell us All what was, what now right. is, and what shall be. That's right. What was, what now is, and what shall be. That's right. All scriptures were given by, by the of inspiration of G-O-D, not G-O-D-S. That's right. And what? And it's profitable for doctrine. Now, in order for your doctrine to be right, you got to go back to the scriptures, that inspire thing of God. That's right. It says it is profitable for doctrine. For doctrine. For reproof. We have to reprove you with the scriptures. For correction. We have to correct you by the scriptures. For instruction we in righteousness. We have to instruct you with the scriptures so you can be right. That the man of, God, the may man of God may be complete. Thoroughly furnished. furnished. Unto all good works. Glory to God unto all good work. That's right. If Pittsburgh, the whole city, believed in the inspired word of God. Yes. You would not have all these religions out here now. No. Everybody no. will practice the same thing. That's right. Everybody will believe the same thing. Mm -hmm. Until the word of God says in 1 Corinthians chapter, chapter one, 1. And verse 10. And verse 10. Now I beseech you, brethren. Now I beseech you, brethren. I want all of you that are here, you that are listening, to get this. By the name. When the Bible said, I beseech you, I want to get your attention. That's it. Thank God. The word of God wants to get everybody's attention. That's it. Now I beseech you, brethren. By the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. By the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That ye all speak. How much? That ye all speak. Well, everybody. That justify what I'm preaching. That ye all speak. Speak what? The same thing. And if everybody speak the same thing, that would eliminate what happened. And that there be no divisions among you. Now there's division. Oh, yes. There's division all over the world, all oh. over creation, all over Pittsburgh. That's right. Every church got something different. Every religion got something different. All these new religions even starting up. That's right. Anybody come along after the Lord said, be holy, you're late. Oh, yes. You're just late. I don't care who you are, where you come from. Anybody come after the Lord after. spoke. His everlasting word to be holy, you just late on the scene, and your founder is nothing but a religious hypocrite. That's right. Everybody is to be holy and follow God, holy words, so you can be ready for the Bible even says, Blessed and holy is and he. holy is he to have part in the first resurrection. He ain't say blessed and baptist, is he? No, no. Blessed and non-denominational is no, he? No. no. Revelation 20 and verse 6. Says what? Blessed. Blessed. And holy blessed. is he. Blessed. Blessed. My God, man, I'm blessed for blasting this stuff. You're blessed. That's huh? right. That's right. And man, I'm blessed for blasting it. <laughs> that's right. Thank God I'm blasting a blessed message here. That's right. Blessed. And holy is he. And holy. Is he. Is he. That hath part in the first resurrection. On such. The second death hath no power. Imagine getting ready to go to hell. Hallelujah. Do you love cigarettes so much? 
drinking so much, mm. gambling so much, living together, not married so much? so much? Do you love fighting that there's one God so much to That's spend right. the rest of your everlasting life That's right. in, hell? in hell? Are you that tough? Mm. Are you that uh, so violent? and so brash against the word of God That's right. that you will fight it just to spend eternity in hell? That's right. Do liquor mean that much to you? Mm. Do smoke and crack mean that much to you? Amen. Do raping men and raping women and out here shooting and robbing and molesting and acting like a fool mean eternal hell? My that Lord. mean that much to you? Blessed and holy is he. Thank God if you don't make the first resurrection, you know where you're going. That's right. You know where you're going, viewer, and you that are here. Oh, yes. You can be as hard-headed and stubborn as an icicle in zero weather. That's right. And you know an icicle in zero weather doesn't melt. No. It doesn't move. Oh, no. Thank God. So now we're here with the word of God that's divinely inspired mm -hmm. that you may know what course to go on. That's right. You better go back to the book of Jeremiah, son. Back in Jeremiah chapter 5 and at verse 30. Hear this. A wonderful and horrible thing. Wonderful. Hmm. And horrible is committed. How to can land. something be wonderful and horrible at the same time? Same time. I tell you how. Mm -hmm. It's horrible to God, yeah. but it's wonderful to man. That's right. That's right. Hear me. That's it's right. horrible to God. Yes. But it's wonderful, wonderful to man. That's right. That's why God and man don't agree. No. Think of it. He made man in the beginning, in the beginning, uh, in the Garden of Eden, and before man fell, man' characteristics was just like God. That's right. God said, hey, may, "Let us make man in our image, after our likeness." And Adam not only wore God's shape and God form and God fashion, he had the characteristics of God. That's right. But here come the devil hmm. and deceive man. And uh, he ate of that forbidden fruit. The Bible didn't say he ate of an apple. No. I wonder what make everybody think is an apple. <laughs> Bible ain't never said that he ate an apple. No. Me and my wife, we was went away for a while for vacation and uh, went inside the store to get some fruit. And uh, my wife said, I want about three apples. The cast member kind of cast register said, that thing right there. That thing right, I'm looking around trying to figure out what they're talking about. They said, that thing right there have got us in a lot of trouble. <laughs> and I said, what, the apple? He said, yes, <laughs> it got us in a lot of trouble. Well, I didn't want that to start with the Bible and just have it out with them because there's no Bible nowhere. Nowhere. Every good religious world and you that are here, there's no Bible from Genesis to Revelation Amen. that says Adam or Eve ate an apple. No. I know many of you probably thought otherwise because you was led wrong. That's right. But there is no Bible nowhere. Nowhere. From Genesis 1-1 to Revelation Chapter 22, at the very last verse That's right. that the Bible ever said That's right. that Adam and Eve ate an apple. Genesis chapter 3 and at verse 6. That's what it says. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food. When the woman saw that the tree was good for fruit. food, and, the, and that it was pleasant to the eye. Pleasant to the eye. And a tree to be desired to make one wise. Yes. She took of the fruit thereof. No, she took the apple. She took of the fruit thereof. Peach. Fruit thereof. Orange. Fruit. Grape, fruit, cantaloupe, she took up watermelon, the fruit. <laughs> so I, I don't add to the Bible. No. We leave it the way it is. I leave it the way it is. Hey man, I don't know why uh, the Bible didn't say it was a green apple or, hey man, or red apple or no. pear or no. none of that dragon fruit, none of it. <laughs> That's right. It just said, fruit. what? She took up the fruit she thereof. She took up the fruit thereof. And did eat. So whatever she ate, it worked. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> That's right. Glory to God. Eh, That's right. Whatever it was. Whatever it was. It worked. That's right. Look at man is messed up right now. Oh, yes. Thank God you're out here dancing and lying and swearing. Got your pants hanging down. I saw a man the other, uh, well, since I've been here, walking with a 
big bottle of liquor in his back pocket. <laughs> My Lord. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. My Lord. Get this, viewers, and My give Lord. that a hear. Get what I'm telling you now. Amen. All right, son. Back in Jeremiah 5, verses 30 and 31. All right. A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. A wonderful and horrible thing is in the earth. The prophets prophesy falsely. Now that means this. These men that are out here today, mm -hmm. for you to prophesy falsely, falsely, you're not being inspired like the men were yesterday. That's right. For God have never moved on the prophet to prophesy falsely. Falsely. So when a man or a preacher mm -hmm. get up and preach false teaching, false. giving the world false hope. That's right. Or prophecy come out, like the renowned prophets of the day, they all got the same prophecy, and it's always centered around money. That's right. Prosperity, go touch it and claim it, and ch touch somebody's house and claim it, touch somebody else's car and claim that. That's right. You can touch my car all you want. <laughs> go ahead and touch it. Touch it. But when I drive off and leave you in the dust, <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be touching the wind. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. Amen. The type of confidence and the trust that these deceivers give people when they lie. Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 16. Says what? Thus saith the Lord of hosts. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. Hearken not unto the words Hearken of the prophets. Hearken not. Don't unto listen. The Hearken not to unto the, words the words of the, the prophets. prophets. That prophesy unto you. That's what I'm telling you, viewers. That's right. And you that are here, stop listening to these false prophets. They make you vain. What? They make you vain. Anytime a man tell you there's three gods in heaven, he making you vain. That's right. When a man tell you that Jesus Christ is the second person in the Godhead, he's making you vain. That's right. When he tell you there's two thrones up in heaven, mm -hmm. one for God and one for Jesus, he's making you vain. That's right. Amen. When they tell you anything that contradict God's word, mm -hmm. he giving you hope and a lie. They speak a vision of their own heart. What? They speak a vision of their own heart. You you know you got to be awful wicked Amen. to lead 1,000 or just one, one person. One person. And you get a vision from hell and you speak it out of your own heart just to appear to be like you somebody spiritually great. <laughs> That's right. Thank God, brother. Everybody ought to remember we all got to stand before God. Oh, yes. And I'm a firm believer that the human family is not thinking of this. No. And the preachers, they certainly not thinking of this. No, no. They are too concentrated on making money and racketeering. That's right. And going from state to state, holding great revivals, making a basket of money, and go to the next state and do the exact same thing. That's right. You bear in mind when you stand before the great judge of the universe, oh, yes. you're going to tremble. Oh, yes. You're going to cuss the day your mother was pregnant carrying your body. That's right. You're going to hate the day the doctor slapped you and you cried out for the first time. That's right. When he ushered you in the everlasting lake of fire. Oh yes. Thank God and tell you before he put you in hell. He, he said depart from depart me. Depart from me. Depart from me. Oh, Get away you. from me. That's right. All ye that work Iniquity. Work iniquity. Now, you that work iniquity, you're not going to want to see God. Oh no. Not at all. Oh, no. All of you that work iniquity, work iniquity. all of you that's against the word of God, that's right. you're not going to want to see him. No. Whether you are Democrat or Republican, that's right. black, white, brown, and yet, or red, nobody. Nobody. Is going to want to see God that work iniquity. That's right. Listen to what he says there. In the book of St. Matthew, chapter 7, and at verse 21. Says what? Not everyone that saith unto me. Not everyone. Hallelujah that talk to Jesus. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, 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 shall enter into the kingdom shall of heaven. Shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is but in But only heaven. he that obey God. Many will say to me in Many that day. will say to me in that day. Lord, Lord. Lord, Lord. Have we not prophesied in thy name? Oh, that's what you prophets going to be saying. Oh, yes. Running around giving people fake prophecies and all of this stuff. That's right. Telling people you're healed and here they still bent over. That's right. Telling people you cancer free and here's cancer done spread it. That's right. Telling people that lump on your head is gone and here's that lump as big as day. Amen. Telling a blind man you can see. I remember years ago I went to a false church 
my friend at the time, my best friend, he invited me to his church. And uh, I went there, and there was a false prophet there. I won't forget it. <laughs> he called himself Apostle Billy Wonders. Mm -hmm. Blood red shoes, blood red vest, uh, white jacket, white pants, blood red carnation, and a blood red shirt and a white tie, super fly. <laughs> <laughs> and I sat there and and uh, look and observe, and oh, he called the different ones up. And there was a woman that was living on the same block, lived next door to Williams, in fact. And uh, the man's wife, his brother Jerome, Mr. Jerome's wife, she had a pop belly from drinking beer. And the false prophet told her, well, you got snakes in your belly. Man, all she had was yeast in her belly. Amen. He said, I'm going to cast the devil out. And uh, he went all the way back. I said to myself, oh, God, please have mercy on our soul. Mm. You know, anybody punch you in the gut with force, you going down. Yeah. He punched that woman, and she must at that time been at least in her 60s, all going on almost 70. He reached back and punched her in her gut. She went down on the floor and threw up. He said, you see all them snakes that came out? Yeah. That wasn't nothing but yesterday's food that came out. That's all. But it shows you what extension. Mm -hmm. So there was a, uh, a woman there, I believe it was, who was really blind. Really, really blind. And uh, she came up for prayer. And the devil knows when something real is around. That's right. I remember in the midst of that fake healing meeting, he stopped. I was sitting on the front row, and he looked at me. He said, young man, how you enjoying yourself? I said, this is really something. <laughs> I looked at him and said, this is really something. So uh, he got that blind woman. The ushers brought her up. And he screamed over her and yelled over her and all that. He said, you, 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 you got your vision now. You can see. My Lord. All the church jumped up, jumping and shouting and yelling and hollering. I just sat in the front row and just looked and shook my head. He, the ushers, he told the ushers, don't let her go. Let, I mean, let her go. Mm. Let her walk back to her seat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why did he set himself up for that? <laughs> In the church, there was columns. In the open area of the church. And the ushers let her go. She walked and bounced off them columns My Lord. like them old 1973 pinball machines. My Lord. <laughs> Amen. She was just as blind then as she is now. My Lord, my Lord. The false prophets really don't care nothing about your soul. No. I want everybody in the world to hear me. Amen. No false prophet cares about the soul no. or the well-being or where you will end up in eternity at all. That's right. Because he don't care of his eternal life. That's right. He don't care whether he go to hell or whether he go back with God. That's right. Only a man without fear, yeah. without fear, oh, yeah. can deceive the people, lie to the people, year in and year out, year in and year out, year in and year out. Thank God and just play tricks upon your soul. Right. He don't fear God. That's right. Don't you know the word of God said the fear of the Lord right. is the beginning of wisdom. That's right. And to depart from evil. Hallelujah. Thank God is understanding. No fear. No fear. No respect. No. towards heaven. No. And that's why the Bible says, and they went on. That's right. They went on, and God knows the false prophets are going on like God don't exist. That's right. What did he say? Say Matthew 7 and verse 22. What is it? Many will say to me in that many, day. Many, many, many. Many. How many, Pastor Jennings? I don't know. No, many, many. All I know is shall be many. Will say to me in that day. Shall say to the Lord in that day. Lord, Lord. Lord, Lord. Have we not prophesied in thy we name? We prophesied in thy name. And in thy name have cast out devils. Wait, listen. We even cast out devils by using your name. And in thy name done many wonderful oh, works. Oh, did a whole lot of great wonderful works in your name. And then will I profess unto them. Then the Lord is going to talk. I never knew you. Lord, my Lord. Now, think of this. Mm. How can the Creator mm -hmm. 
of heaven and earth who know all things. That's right. Get so absent minded of you. That's right. That's right. That lets me know this. Because of your refusal mm -hmm. to acknowledge God while you was living. That's right. Now when you stand before God, mm. you're going to reap what you sow. That's right. <laughs>